All right, we are back from Pittsburgh and we're here in the home office in Manaka. I just hung up from a conversation that I had with my friend Mike Pugliano about the passing of his cousin, Judge Dominic Frank. If you've been following me long enough on Facebook, you may remember a few years ago, we got up close and personal and talked about his love of his hometown, his love of the law, many years in law enforcement, and his impending, well, running for judge in that community, which he was successful at. You know, I met a lot of people in my life, and he, a baby boomer like me, that loved their hometown, but nobody loved that region, that eastern Ohio, more than Dominic Frank. Well, I'm absolutely devastated to find out that he has passed away. Here was a guy who did so much just because he loved the community, always helping others in need, and he had passion about giving people an opportunity to turn their life around. But he was also a very successful entrepreneur, and you know, the time that we spent together during our videos, he really kind of explained to me about heritage and about family and why it was so significant, tradition, and what really he wanted to see, his vision for that position that he won as judge and what he hoped to see when it came to the criminal justice system and law and order in that region. Why did he do this when he could have done anything else? It's simple. Dominic Frank loved people. And I just told his cousin, Mike Pugliano, look, I've met a lot of people in my life, very important and prestigious people. But from the very first moment I shook his hand, he treated me as though we were lifelong friends. And that's how I will always remember Dominic Frank. And to all of you in that region, remember, he cared about each and every one of you. And as far as someone ever filling those shoes, it's going to be very difficult because he was all about his family and his friends and that community that he loved. Please keep Dominic and his family in your prayers and Mike's family as well because they're going to have a very tough, tough time over the next couple of days, as is that community, trying to even understand why this happened to a man who was such a bright light. My thoughts and prayers to everyone in that region. I look to all of you as family and dear friends, and I know that you're sad as I am on the passing of Dominic Frank.